Charlie. Hi, I'm Kathleen. Hi, I'm Tim. And, and together, together, we're High Five! Yeah! Cowbells. Musical cowbells. I'm going to try singing with these cowbells. That's why I've got my cow ears on. <sighs> I'll just warm my voice up first. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> My voice was much lower than that cowbell. Oh, now my voice was much higher than that cowbell that time. Ah, that's it. My voice matched that one. Not too high, not too low. Okay. I wonder if I can do it again. No. Hmm. I wonder can we do it with a different bell? No. 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 Oh, <laughs> my voice was way too low for the bell that time. <laughs> no. That's it. Hey, I wonder can we make a tune with these cowbells? Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. Boy, that's a tricky one. I like that cow music. 
It may seem like cows to sleep and stand around Nibbling the daisies on the ground But don't think that cows never do a thing Cause when we get together we love to sing I think the cowbells must have called the other cows. Moo! 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 It's a stampede! It may seem like cows sleep or stand around, nibbling the daisies on the ground. But don't think the cows never do a thing, cause when we get together, we love to sing. Bet you never heard cows do that before. <laughs> Come on, cows, milking time. my cow. She's really stubborn sometimes. Come on, Mill. Ah, ah, here she comes. Good girl, Millie. Good girl. I'm getting ready to do some milking. <laughs> Good girl. I sit down here nice and low underneath Millie so that I can milk her easily. And I put the bucket underneath to catch the milk. Ready to do some milking? Pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze like this. One more time, pull and squeeze, pull and squeeze. Early morning on the farm, lots of milking to do. Cow in the paddock goes moo, 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 moo. Good girl, Millie, you're a champion. <laughs> come from? <laughs> oh, maybe it's a kookaburra feather. <laughs> oh, I think that is a kookaburra. A kookaburra laughing at us. <laughs> I think the kookaburra laughs coming from over there. <laughs> kookaburra stop. <laughs> chop, chop. Another sound coming from the middle of the wall over here. Well, was a funny sound. Not like a kookaburra. <laughs> There's a kookaburra laugh coming from over there again. <laughs> oh, I like kookaburras. I wonder where it is. <laughs> now there are noises coming from everywhere. <laughs> Kookaburra? Hmm, Kookaburra, are you in here? <laughs> Sounds like the Kookaburra's moved. I think it's coming from over there. Here, Kookaburra! <gasps> and now the sound's coming from over there again. Cheeky things moving around in the wall, laughing at me. I 
can laugh at you, Kookaburra. <laughs> Here, Kookaburra. Hmm, it's being quiet now. <gasps> can you hear that? Shh. Sounds like baby birds. I think they're coming from in here. I think that's the mummy kookaburra trying to lead me away from the nest so I don't find the baby birds. Don't worry, mummy kookaburra. I'm not going to hurt them. <gasps> Hello, little kookaburra babies. <laughs> I'll put up this do not disturb sign so they'll be left in peace and mummy kookaburra won't have to worry anymore. Do not disturb. Upside down. Clever little fruit bat hanging upside down. Doing things back to front, acting like a clown. Uh oh, it's getting dark. Night time. Time for bats like us to fly. Do you like my fruit bat wings? <laughs> Eating all the juicy fruit, flying in the night. Swooping up and down and round, flying till it's light. Fruit bats are funny creatures. They hang upside down to sleep. In the daytime? <laughs> oh, the sun's up. That means it's time to go to sleep, bat buddies. <laughs> Clever little fruit bat hanging upside down. Doing things back to front, acting like a clown. Night time again. Time to fly. Eating all the juicy fruit, flying in the night. Swooping up and down and round, flying till it's light. Oh, it's daylight again. You know what that means? Sleep tight, bat buddies. One, two, three, four, high five. One, two, three, four, high five. One, two, three, four, high five. High, high five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Have you ever been to the farm and fed the animals? I'm just making a picture of my family's farm. Do you want to come along? Through the gate and into the farmyard. And this is the barn. A brown square shape with a red triangle roof. Shh. The farm animals are asleep in the barnyard. But the sun's about to rise. It's the beginning of a new day. I'll just add some more sun rays. One up there and one down there. There we go. I think we need some farm animals in our farm. Two rusty orange coloured circles. One big and one small. Hey, I've got an idea. What animal goes <laughs> A rusty orange coloured rooster. Early morning on the farm, there's lots of work to do. Rooster crows. There we go. A rusty orange coloured rooster. Hey, two pink circles. But what animal could I make out of these? Let's see. Can you guess? How about if I add this? What do you think? A roly poly pig with a spiral curly tail. So we have a rooster and a roly poly pig. Hey, I think we need one more animal. But I have no more shapes left. Unless... Hey, we could use this cloud shape. For a sheep. A woolly white sheep between the rooster and the roly-poly pig. Early morning on the farm, there's lots of work to do. Woolly white sheep go ba ba ba. Roly-poly pig go oink oink oink. Rooster crows. Hey, I 
think the sheep and the roly-poly pig and the rooster are ready to do some barnyard groovy. Early morning on the farm, there's lots of work to do. Woolly white sheep going ba ba ba. Roly poly pig going oink oink oink. Rooster crows. Well, I think I'm ready to head off to the farm. I've got a lot of barnyard grooving to do. Yeehaw! G'day, I'm a farmer and this is my trusty farm horse Red. We're going for a ride around the farm together. I'm riding on my horse, we're going far away. Over fences, through paddocks, we're trotting today. By rivers, up mountains. To come for a ride with us around the farm on your horse. Just mount your horse, grab the reins, and we're off. I'm riding on my horse, we're going far away. Over fences, through paddocks, we're trotting today. a good ride, but I'm going to take old Red back to the barn. I think he needs a wash down. See you later. On your mark. That's that. Go! Hello, Cal. You're looking a bit of a bedhead this morning. Did you just wake up? Yeah, and I'm still feeling a bit tired and a bit grumpy. Grumpy? You're never grumpy, Kel. Yeah, I know. But last night I had a really bad dream. And today, I can't stop thinking about the dream. A bad dream? Mm. What was it about? It was about this really big, big, big bunny rabbit. You had a bad dream about a big bunny rabbit? Yeah, and now I'm tired and grumpy. Well, what did this big bunny rabbit look like? Hmm, it was sort of white and fluffy. That doesn't sound bad. Oh, and he had a pink nose that wriggled like this. <laughs> he sounds like a funny bunny. Did he have long ears? Yeah, he had really long ears. And they looked kind of soft. Hmm. hmm, I get the picture. Did this big bunny have a soft sort of cotton wool bunny tail? Yeah, he did. Aha, uh -huh. hmm. I think I know about this big bunny, Kelly. Hey, Chats, what are you doing? Hang on a moment. I oh, wonder what she's doing down there. <clears throat> oh, hey. You look a lot like that big bunny in my bad dream last night. Last night I had a dream with the most unusual thing. A big bunny rabbit, the softest one I've seen, was chewing on a biscuit while playing games of cricket. Last night I had a dream, a most unusual dream That big bunny rabbit, the softest one I've seen Was dancing the fandango, and then he danced the tango While chewing on a biscuit, which he then put in his pocket He started playing chasings, and the one he chased was me Sounds to me like a fun dream. Yeah, 
Well, now I think about it, it does sound kind of fun. And I really like bunny rabbits. And you like dancing. Hmm. Last night you had a dream with a most unusual theme. A big bunny rabbit was sitting by a stream. He was chewing on a biscuit while playing games of cricket. The softest, biggest bunny that you had ever seen. Last night you had a dream, a most unusual dream. That big bunny rabbit, the softest one you'd seen. Bunny Rabbit was chasing you. You do? Why, Chet? I think he wanted to eat that carrot. Bunny Rabbits love carrots. He must have thought it was real. Oh, of course. Well, next time I go to sleep, I'll take a carrot with me so I can feed the Bunny Rabbit and then he won't chase me anymore. Great idea, Chet. Excellent. I just saw a b b butterfly. It had beautiful, bright blue wings. Hey, there it is. Oh, I'd love to get a better look. Butterfly, butterfly, so beautiful to see. Butterfly, butterfly, play a game with me. Butterfly, butterfly, really like to play. So butterfly, butterfly, please don't fly away. Oh, please stay on the ground, butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly, so beautiful to see. Butterfly, butterfly, play a game with me. Butterfly, butterfly, I'd really like to play. So butterfly, butterfly. Don't fly away. Oh. Oh. But I was so close. Butterfly, butterfly, so beautiful to see. Butterfly, butterfly, you played a game with me. Once upon a time, there was a little magpie that lived in a nest right in the middle of town. Oro, 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 I really love my nest. Oro, 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 look shiny, things the best. She was a very friendly magpie and everyone in town knew her. Hi Maggie, lovely day, isn't it? Look at my beautiful new shiny necklace. Ooh, oro, oro, oro. <gasps> there was just one small problem. The little magpie <laughs> really loved shiny things. Oro, 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 I really love my nest. Oro, 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 the shiny things the best. Oh, Maggie, please come back here. Bring my necklace back. Oh. That little magpie loved shiny things so much that she collected them to make her nest look beautiful. But not everyone was happy about it. Ooh, oro, oro, oro. <laughs> hey, oh, Maggie, not again. I need that tinsel for my party. <laughs> Oh well, guess I'll just use this instead. Oro, oro, oro. That mischievous magpie was taking shiny things from all over town. First the necklace, and now the tinsel. And... Oh no, can you see what I see? Oro, 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 I really love my nest. Oro, 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 love shiny things the best. 
Oh, hey there. Hi, Tim. Need a hand? Yeah. I've got some sticky tape in my bag. Hey, my big shiny tea is gone. Yeah, I think you'll find that Maggie has it up there with my tinsel. <laughs> oh, and my necklace. Everyone in town was upset about the little magpie taking all their shiny things. And then, one of them had an idea. I've just had an idea. If Maggie likes to decorate her nest with beautiful shiny things, mm -hmm. let's help her. Huh? Mm. Yeah. This should do the trick. <gasps> this should make a nest shiny all the time. So then she won't steal our things. Yeah, great idea. Ooh, oodle, oodle, oodle. The mirror ball made Maggie's nest shinier than ever. Oodle, oodle, oodle. Do the magpie hustle. Oodle, oodle, oodle. Make those feathers rustle. Oodle, oodle, oodle. I think that little magpie is very happy with her shiny nest. And look! She's even giving back all the things she took. Good one, Maggie! <laughs> it was me all along. Oodle, oodle, oodle. Come and join us for a song. Every day's a special day Monday, I was feeling fine Tuesday, you were on my mind Wednesday, there were cloudy skies above Thursday, it was starting to clear Friday, and the weekend's beer Saturday, I can see my friends an adventure today and this is going to take us there la 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 pizza delivery one adventure pizza for miss chatterbox adventure pizza delivery what's that well i thought you might be hungry chats and this is a very very special pizza Mmm, it does smell special. Special and delicious. <laughs> it's got salami. Yeah, spicy salami sausage. And zucchini, my favourite vegetable. Mmm, yeah. And look, lots of yummy runny cheese. <gasps> yummy runny cheese. Mmm. Hey, Chats, did you know the cheese they put on pizza has a special name? A name? Like Kelly or Charlie or Tim? <laughs> well, not exactly, but sort of. It's called mozzarella. Mozzarella? Great name! Yeah, mozzarella is an Italian word. Italian? So I can speak Italian? <laughs> yeah, just like you were in Italy. You know, Chats, there are some other Italian words right here too. Hmm, I know, I know. I bet pizza is an Italian word. Yeah, that's right. How did you guess? Well, it sort of sounds Italian. Pizza? Mozzarella. They're sort of tasty sounding words, don't you think? Yeah, they are. You know, Chats, there are some other tasty Italian sounding words right here too. What about salami? Hmm, salami. 
Salami. That's an Italian sounding word too. Yeah, and what about zucchini? Zucchini, salami, mozzarella, pizza. I'm really good at speaking Italian. <laughs> Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Pizza, 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 it's a lot of lots of fun. Pizza, 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 it's a lot of lots of fun. Yay! Wow, Kelly, you can even sing in Italian. You're right, a chatterboxer. It's like a we're in Italy. Wow, a special adventure pizza has taken us there. Shall we sing it one more time? You guys want to join in? Come on. Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Some salami and zucchini and a lot of mozzarella. Pizza, 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 it's a lot of lot of fun. Pizza, 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 it's a lot of lot of fun. Oh, all that singing's made me really hungry. Would you like a slice of pizza, Chat? Mm, no pizza for me, thanks, Kel. Oh, you're not hungry? Yes, but I've changed my mind. I don't want pizza anymore. Oh. But I am hungry for something else with an Italian name, but not hot, cold. <laughs> oh, I bet I can guess what that is. And look what I have right here. <gasps> gelato! Mmm, yummy, yummy gelato. Yes, spread it round. I'm making pizza. I'm going to roll this great big lump of pizza dough into a ball. Ready? Roll it that way, roll it this way, roll it that way, roll it this. Make sure there's no dough that you miss. There, a big round ball of dough. Next, squish the dough into a round flat pizza shape. Squish it that way, squish it this way, squish it that way, squish it this. Make sure there's no dough that you miss. There. Oh, I think my pizza can be a little bit bigger. We can toss it in the air to stretch it out, like they do in Italy, OK? Toss it that way, toss it this way, toss it that way, toss it this. Make sure there's no dough that you miss. I caught it. Did you catch your pizza dough? Again? I'm getting pretty good at this. Wee! Where's my pizza gone? <gasps> Splat! Right on my face. I think that one went a little bit too high. Tall, small. Imagine if you could grow to different sizes, like as tall as an elephant or as small as the ants around my house. Gee, I wonder what my house would look like to an ant. I want to be small, not big at all. Right down near the ground, making tiny little sounds. I want to be small, not big at all. My voice sounds all small and squeaky. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, haven't seen you around here before. Do I know you? Uh, well, I'm Tim. I, I live here. Oh, well, I'm Natalie the Ant, and I'm off to the kitchen to find some crumbs. Uh, you don't look like much of an ant. No, I'm a person called Tim. I just got smaller. Oh, oh don't you just love being small? <laughs> Coming through! <gasps> oh, I'm out of here. See you, Tim. Wow. That big loud voice sounds like it's coming from an elephant. What's an elephant doing in my house? Hey elephant, down here! Oh, it's no good. My voice is too small and soft for him to hear me. Maybe if I grew taller. 
I want to be tall, not tiny at all Right up off the ground making big loud sounds I want to be tall, not tiny at all Hey often! Oh, listen to my big loud voice Oh, hi! Just on my way to the kitchen to get some peanut butter oh. Didn't think anyone was in here uh, Well, I only just grew taller Hey, don't you love being tall with a big, loud voice? Uh, actually, I'm not sure which I do prefer, being tall or small. I love being tall. I love being small. Not tiny at all. Not big at all. Right up off the ground. Right down near the ground. Making big, loud sounds. Making tiny little sounds. I love being tall. I love being small. Boy, Tim. See ya, Tim. See ya. <sighs> well... It's not often you get to chat to an elephant and an ant around your house. <laughs> you know, it's fun being different sizes, but I think I like being just the size I am, with my normal tim size voice. <laughs> See ya. are going to have a big feast in our nest today. But first, we've got lots of work to do. We've got to get the food back to the nest. Ah, someone's had a picnic here and they've left lots of delicious crumbs. Yum. Good food for ants. Hey, you're not ants too, are you? Because if you are, there's no slacking off. Get ready to lift a crumb. Lifting, shifting, oh. take it home. Piece by piece, bit by bit. Take it home. Okay, now to get this crumb back to the nest. Oh, nope, won't fit. Gonna have to put this crumb down and ooh, push and shove it through. Lifting, shifting. Take it home. Piece by piece, bit by bit. Take it home. Ah, phew, that was hard work, but no time for a rest. Got to get the crumb back to the nest. Made it. We're back at the nest. Oh, there. One down, ten to go. Oh, well, I can't find it, whatever it is. Well, I think I'm hearing these strange noises, and I think they're coming from in here. And when I hear them, I feel like I have a friend. Or maybe I'm just imagining it. Chop, chop! <laughs> <laughs> Here's that funny noise! Hide and seek, hide and seek. Well, baskets don't make noises. Well, hang on. This isn't just any basket. <laughs> it's got a cushion underneath and a sheet on top. Hmm, could be a bed. A very comfy little bed. Well, what curls up in a basket for a bed? Pets! Like a puppy or a kitten or maybe even a rabbit. <laughs> Imagine having a pet curled up in here. They'd be all nice and cuddly and soft. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> There's that noise again. Right. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Funny noises in my wall. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Is anything really there at all? Mm-hmm. 
footprints. Maybe it could be our friend's footprints. But there looks like there's too many footprints. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Five feet? Well, what has five feet and sleeps in a basket for a bed? Not any animal I've heard of. Ah! Get it! <laughs> I heard that! <gasps> oh, a toy elephant! <laughs> You're so cute! Elephant, are you our mystery friend? Hmm, well you've got one, two, three, four, four feet, not five feet. Ah, oh, but you do have a trunk, and that's kind of like having another foot. Let's just see if you've made these prints first. Okay. Oh, the prints are too big. Oh, elephant, I was hoping you'd solve the mystery of my wall. But maybe if you'd make a certain noise... Okay. Squeeze! Oh, no sound. Well, come on, elephant. Let's do it one more time. Okay, squeeze! Jump, <gasps> jump! Okay, do it one more time. Squeeze! Jump, <gasps> jump! Oh, elephant, it is you! <laughs> I'm gonna go and tell Kelly. Well, I hope you're not too shy to talk to her. Come on, let's go. Jump, <laughs> jump, still secret! Shh! <laughs> shoes off to give my feet a wriggle. It makes them so happy. I'm happy. I'm happy too. We love it with no shoes on. We love it when we're there. We can wriggle our toes or tickle our soles. The skin we like to wear. Do your feet want to have a wriggle and a stretch too? Okay. Point and flex. Roll them in a circle. And wriggle your toes and tickle. <laughs> oh, my feet are waving at you. Hello. Hello. We love it with no shoes on. We love it when we're there. We can wriggle our toes or tickle our soles. It's skin we like to wear. Hmm. I think my feet are trying to tell me something. Tickle. What's that, feet? Tickle! Oh, my feet want to be tickled. <laughs> I've always dreamt of being a helicopter pilot, so I'm making my own helicopter. I'm going to fly up to the mountains and back down to the city again. But first, I'll need a small tail propeller. Helps my helicopter stay up in the air. Excellent. And I need a big propeller too, one that spins above your head. Propellers make a great sound. They sort of make a sound like... That's why I've got this umbrella. It's round and spins around, just like a propeller. Perfect. Well, better do the final checks to my helicopter. A place to sit, a round nose at the front, and a tail at the back with a small propeller. Ah, and my big propeller. Oh, and my goggles. I don't want the wind getting in my eyes while I'm flying. Is there anything else? Oh, no, I forgot. My radio, so I can contact flight control, just to let them know where I'm going. I don't want to get lost. 
Testing, testing one, two. This is helicopter pilot Nathan, ready for takeoff. Over and out. Okay, propeller start. And we're off. We're going to fly in the sky up high with the city and the ocean below. Just me and my helicopter. What we'll see from above, nobody knows. Well, I can see the city down below with the roads and the cars going to different places. Fast approaching the mountains, sharp left, whoa, and sharp right. Gee, it's a long way down. Hey, we better head home now. I'm running short on petrol. Uh, Flight Control Center, this is helicopter pilot Nathan speaking. I'm headed home, over and out. I'm going to fly the sky up high with the city and the ocean below. Just me and my helicopter. What we'll see from above, nobody knows. Slowing down. Hey, I can see the landing site. Coming in for a safe landing. And uh, whoa. Uh, what an excellent joy flight. I'm definitely going to do that again. Definitely. a diamond. I made it with my fingers. I think I can make a rectangle too. There, a rectangle. And now, a circle. I can make a circle with my arms too. Make a diamond with my fingers. Make a rectangle too. Make a circle with my arms Make a heart I love you The heart's my favourite shape Make a diamond with my fingers Make a rectangle too Make a circle with my arms Make a heart I love you. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful farm far out in the country. Lots of noisy animals lived on this farm, but the loudest of all was a rooster named Rory. It was Rory's job to wake up the farmer every morning with a cock a doodle doo <clears throat> But one morning, Rory the rooster woke up with a tickly, scratchy feeling inside his throat. And when he opened his beak to go cock a doodle doo Uh-oh. Rory seems to have lost his cock a doodle doo Who's going to wake up the farmer now? Here comes Rory's friend, the cow. It's great to be up early. It's great to see the sun. It's great just doing cow things. Good morning, everyone. Moo! Well, good morning there, Rory. Did you sleep in this morning? I didn't seem to hear that famous mock a moo moo <sighs> It's my throat! Oh. Uh, yes, Rory, that is your throat. No, my throat! It's all sore and scratchy. My cockadoodle doo doesn't sound quite right. Oh. Oh. Now, now, Rory, you mustn't speak. Just rest that sore throat, because I've got an idea. OK, now I'm going to wake up all the people in the farmhouse with my lovely mockamoodle moo. So the cow took a deep breath and she went... Mockamoodle moo! <coughs> Uh-oh. The cow had a sore throat now, too. She couldn't wake up the farmer, either. The next animal to wake up on the farm was the horse. It's great to be up early. It's great to see the sun. It's great just doing 
horsings. Good morning, everyone. Nay! <sighs> That's it, Rory. The horse can wake up the farmer. What do you reckon, horse? So the horse took a deep breath and gave it her best shot. Knock a needle, nay! <laughs> Oh no, not another sore throat on the farm. Oh, now there's only the pig left. The rooster knew that the pig couldn't possibly do the job because... Pig sleep in! Oh no! Time's running out! How are we going to wake up the farmer? <laughs> Just then, the little barn mouse came scurrying out of the barn. Oh, good morning, Rory. Good morning, cow. Good morning, horse. I couldn't help but overhear your little problem. And I think I might be able to help you. Squeak, squeak. Rory wasn't sure how such a little mouse with such a little squeak could help at all. But before you could say cock-a-doodle-doo, the little mouse had climbed up to ring the bell on the barn door and... I think that should do it. Soon everyone on the farm was awake. The farmer, the other animals, even the pig. She, she did, did it! it! <laughs> mouse, you've got the job. So until Rory's cock-a-doodle-doo came back, the little mouse rang the bell every morning to wake up the farm. And then when their sore throats were all better, Rory's animal friends joined him for the loudest wake-up call ever. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. Now, I've got a feeling that it's time for a song. <laughs>